it's been claimed that Liz Truss is the Brexiteers' last hope as ultra-Remainers are mobilising to take us back into the EU. In The Telegraph this week, the journalist Alistair Heath, who always writes very punchy and often miserable articles, he said that their strategy, strategy is to blame Brexit for almost all the myriad of difficulties that Britain currently faces. I mean, that's certainly true. And portraying problems that are entirely unrelated to the European question as vote leave broken promises. So is Brexit really on the brink or is Alistair exaggerating there? So to discuss this, I'm delighted to be joined by former Brexit Party MEP and friend of the programme, Ben Habib. Ben, is <laughs> Alistair being a bit... Is, is, he, is he exaggerating there? Is he being a bit OTT? Is Brexit really on the brink? Well, no, I don't think Brexit is on the brink. I think the hurdle over which Remainers would have to get to get us back into the EU is vast. Mm. Remember, if we wish to go back into the EU now, we would have to adopt the euro. And that is self-evidently economic suicide. So I think the case to go back in is going to be very hard for Remainers to make, no matter how much they conflate the impact of lockdowns with Brexit. Um, you know, I don't think they're going to win that argument. Um, one of the other things Alistair he said in his article w was that Boris going was a, was a danger to Brexit. And actually, I take issue with Alistair on that, because Boris, I think, had become a problem for Brexit. He had delivered whatever he could deliver, but his deal was a bad deal. And because it was his deal, he couldn't pivot away from it. So I'm actually delighted that we're going to have a new Conservative Party leader and Prime Minister who will still have a 76-seat majority, I think, and two and a half years in which to really get to grips with properly delivering Brexit. And it's not just an ideological desire that I have that Brexit should be properly delivered. It needs to be properly delivered, for example, to help the gentleman you had on just as I was walking in, into the studio, um, you know, with his fish and chip shop yeah. in, in, in Scotland. Think about how much better our fishing industry would be if Boris Johnson had genuinely taken back control of fish like he promised he would.